I love to tell the very silly story of how I came up with Tracy Beaker's name. I was lying back in my bath one day thinking about this brand new story that I wanted to write about a little girl in a children's home desperate to be fostered and I was trying to think what her name would be. I knew I wanted her to be called Tracy, it's a lovely modern bouncy sort of name, but I couldn't think of an appropriate surname for her. So I was looking all round my bathroom for inspiration and thinking rather madly, shall I call her Tracy Soap, Tracy Flannel, Tracy Tap, Tracy Toothbrush, Tracy Toilet. The ideas got sillier and sillier and I decided, well, I am never ever going to find the right sort of inspiration here and now. So I got on with washing myself, I washed my hair and to rinse off all the soap suds, I don't have any elaborate shower attachment. I just keep an old beaker on the end of the bath, pulled it under the hot tap and then just rinse my hair. So I picked up my beaker and then looked at it and said, Tracy Beaker. And there was just something about the name that made a little tingle go down my back. So that, I promise you, is the true story of how Tracy got her name.